Hello, boxing fans. What can I say? Um, Saudi Rian, Ridan season, something like that, is coming to States. It's going outside of Saudi Arabia. They are putting on another stacked show. The Bud Crawford versus Madrimov. I think that's his last name. But regardless of that, I'm talking about Undercard because out an Undercard, guys, is good. I, I talk, talked about uh, Ruiza being on the same event. Now I can talk about Martin Bacoli being here. Yes, the black horse of the vision is taking on the fight. Um, and he's fighting against Gerard Anderson, which is a, a good fight. Cannot deny it. But, guys, the fun thing about this one is, in my eyes and lots of other people's eyes, this is a clear-cut fight, which is exact opposite what our uh, book is projecting. So, yeah, guys, before we dive into that, what the uh, bookies are saying about this fight and what most people think about this fight, I need to give a quick shout-out to myself. And, yes, people, as I said before, big shout-out, Flip Flop Mafia, my university project. I mean, I may have graduated, uh, but I have still lots of stuff to sell. So, yeah, don't be shy, give a try and join Flip Flop Mafia today. You know, easy to spot, hard to miss. Uh, I couldn't say they're the best flip-flops, but definitely they are in the top. Yes, this is my own creation. So, guys, if you need flip-flops, links in description. Help a brother out and let's jump into boxing because this one will gonna be good. So, people, why I'm saying this is a bit strange one? It's another good fight on undercard, really, which is really stacked, okay? The issue which I have here is... I looked online, I saw what other people are saying, and I would say 8 or 9 out of 10 people are saying the same thing. Martin Bacoli all day long. But, this is this is very strange, guys, because I went to bookies and I thought, you know, okay, what's, what's the odds? You know, what's the odds on Anderson winning this fight? And check it out. Bookies are going exact opposite direction. So now I'm just thinking... I looked up Anderson, and you can see, you know, he has these belts, WBC, WBO. You know, he's holding on to these belts, so he's a bit high ranked or whatever. He's like number four in WBO in the world. But what I'm saying, these belts cost money, okay? Most boxers just relinquish them straight away. They win them, and they don't need them, okay? Uh, because you need to pay for them all the time. So, what I'm saying here is, there is some kind of financial incentive behind Anderson, maybe to win this fight. Uh, because me, and I would say many other fans, just don't see it. Anderson winning this fight, it would be quite weird. Especially when we look back on the fight against uh, no one else than the king himself, Prince Charles Martin which was 10 rounds, okay, 10 rounds, actually quite competitive fight, Anderson did one, but uh, Martin put in some really good rounds in there, and then if you look back on um, Michael Hunter against Bacoli, just rewatch that fight, I mean, Hunter, 100%, he deserved the win, but, dude, Bacoli, every time Bacoli hit Michael Hunter, he was being moved in the ring. The punching power of Martin Bacoli. It's like George Foreman. He does not throw power punches. He just throws shots. That's it, you know. Doesn't need to apply much more power. They're already devastating. Michael Hunter left, you know, few IQ points in the ring. I mean, he, he did deserve the win and, you know, he paid with that. <laughs> You know what I mean, guys. I mean, that was a tough, tough fight on Hunter. So, yeah, guys, I'm going with Martin Bacoli because I think this will going to be quite easy for him because he's just a beast and he's there. He's there to slug it out. But for some reason, as you see, bookies here, they are favoring Anderson to win this one. I cannot explain it. Maybe there is something like a Don King play behind it, which I don't know. But yeah, guys, uh, most people lining with Bacoli, Bookies, going with Anderson, no idea what's going on. I think 
mid rounds to late rounds, Bacoli will stop Anderson, but um, I think this could be controversial win or loss for Bacoli. Let's say controversial loss for Bacoli. That's what I'm saying, guys. So this is a bit weird. So guys, if you know why Anderson should be better odds-wise than Bacoli, guys, leave a comment. Leave your thoughts below because I'm really, really interested. Whoever can give me a solid case, why would you pick Anderson over Bacoli? Anyway, guys, these are my two thoughts. Leave a comment, buy a flip-flop. Until next time, Mr. Zas, out.